did study sculpture in Basel, but I was doing drawings quite a lot. And after I finished school, I didn't have my own studio, so I just started to do little A6 cards, a lot of drawings. Uh, one of my favorite quotes, it's from Daniele Buetti, and he says, um, art is not about attack, it's about seduction. The idea about this work was um, to have little, kind of little universes, little explosions and associations like stars, um, suns, little explosions. And at the same time, it's, it's very fragile and it's almost weightless. But this is one of my first big ink drawings I did, called Can't Take My Eyes Off You. And it was the first time as well when I did work with manga drawings. For this series I started to collect pictures of um, visions and hallucinations from mangas and film stills and the internet. So it's there about moments when people go from one world to another, for example, or change their state of mind, or have visions and hallucinations. So it's about something you can't really put in a picture, or it's very personal how those visions look like, and I scan them, work on them, and put them into pencil drawings. And these are not my originals, these are my, my dummies. I started to think about this work um, because I wondered where all the colours in my work went. Um, because if, my, if I think of my work as a whole, they have to be somewhere. So I thought about what would happen to them. And at this time, I, th I found out about suiseki, and that's a Japanese tradition of presenting stones in a meditative way. And I liked the idea of um, all the colours would be compressed like agates. I, I think I always play on the corner of those things, like um, they are beautiful but they're kind of ugly at the same time or they're useless and um, yeah, one doesn't really know where they come from. They look handmade on one hand, but on the other hand, they could have been grown like this as well. Tumbleweed, this funny little plant, which is the a symbol of American westerns and which is in, um, shows an abandoned area. And when I did a, a bit of research, I found out that um, it doesn't come from America. It comes from the Ukraine or Russia. So it came to America with the settlers. And it's quite nice that the tumbleweed is not a settled plant as well. So it runs around in, or it's blown around by the winds. <laughs> 